Hey guys, it's Lois Ray of Raiders Vlogs. I just wanted to come up here and update you. We are in my room. I am not showing the rest of my room because it's in total chaos. Um, I'm getting a wardrobe from Ikea, which I got, but three of the panels are um, damaged, so I'm getting replacements. Kuma's here with me, of course. Um, it is now currently 6.56. We're gonna be going to sleep soon because tomorrow I have an endoscopy um, scheduled. Unfortunately, I don't know what's going on with my reflux. As you know, I have reflux. It's been under control with one medicine. It hasn't been controlled for a while now, for at least three months. I saw specialists last month. He was very surprised I had never gotten the end the endoscopy done so that is what we're doing tomorrow morning um procedure itself they said takes 15 minutes but i will be sedated so i'll be with them for two to three hours so i got one parent dropping me off and the other parent picking me up so tag along tomorrow morning and i will try to vlog everything that i can i can't vlog like the actual procedure itself because they said i'll be sedated where i'm like in a twilight sleep never had that done before I did take my anxiety pill, which I haven't taken in a while, plus my uh, melatonin so I can sleep good tonight. But yeah, let's get this vlog started. I'll see you guys in the morning with an update. Morning guys, we are on our way right now to my parents' house. They're going to drive me to the appointment first. Um, but first I need to see if I have plenty of time for gas because I'm supposed to meet them at uh, 5.45, it's 5.34 in the morning. So I'm hoping I have enough time to get gas. We're gonna find out. Um, but yeah, come along the street if you get into us. Good morning guys, sorry for the weird angle. It looks like I'm gonna have to buy another mount for the car. Um, it's not tightening. <laughs> so we're gonna deal with this angle for the, it is the next day. I am so sorry I wasn't able to vlog the rest of the day because, um, so I did the endoscopy. Um, I wasn't able to have my phone out because everything had to be put in a bag for personal belongings. But, um, so it's the next day. They did put a catheter um, or IV catheter in my hand, which was a first read. I've never had that done. And now we are on the way to work. I don't know if you guys have heard the news about Tulsa um, from yesterday. There was a mass shooting at the medical center there and um, five people were killed at this moment. Um, so kind of a little bit scared of going to work. As you know, I work in a hospital area, so I don't, I don't feel very... Um, yeah, a little anxious, but we're gonna get through it because um, I do have a doctor I have to work with today, so there's no way I can call out. Um, but today I'm seeing babies, so hopefully that will help me make my day. They're on our way to work at the moment, but um, everything went well. But then that's great, I just want to update you. Um, what he, what was great about doing this endoscopy was that I was able to find out the results right away because he wrote it down on a piece of paper. Um, like on a paper that says like your discharge and stuff like that. So um, what he diagnosed me was after the endoscopy was a grade A esophagitis. Um, that means that my esophagus is inflamed. It's like the part of the throat that connects from right here to your throat all the way down. Um, it is inflamed. So um, not sure what's going to be the treatment. It says to follow up with him in four weeks. Looks like we're following up in six weeks because that's his next available appointment. But all in all, went well. My blood pressure was a little bit high, but that was because I was scared. <laughs> as soon as they wheeled, like I was totally fine in the waiting area. I waited an hour and a half with an IV drip. And then they brought me in the back, which I think only took 25 minutes. And I literally, my blood pressure went high. And everyone's like, you gotta retake your blood pressure. Are you sure? I'm like, I'm a little scared. I don't steam so, but I do get anxious when the time comes. But yeah, I just want to update you guys. Sorry for the shakiness and the weird. I'm trying to hold this on my display area here on my car. So it's going to be weird angles every time. <laughs> but yeah, so that's what happened at the um, procedure. And then also because I was sedated, my dad picked me up and of course um, he dropped me off. But I wasn't supposed to drive the rest of the day. But I had to because I had to get home. So, got home, knocked out for four hours because I was still had the station medicines in me. But yeah, nice sprite in up to this morning to go to work. Hopefully everything goes well at work. And I hope you guys had a good day. So I'll catch you guys with another video when I can. 
Um, but stay safe, guys. Bye, y'all.